it just got so bad <sighs> i was on the brink of just like shaving my whole hair off i was literally on the brink of completely doing the big chop <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's for your girl Vanessa K7 and I'm back with another one. Just a quick disclaimer, I cannot find my hair glue anywhere, hence why I have no lashes on at the moment. So I've only put mascara. So my eyes are looking smaller than usual and I feel very naked right now without my eyelashes. So I just thought I'd put that disclaimer out there. But anyway, I'm here to share with you some tips that helped me grow my edges back in three months three months some people take years some people take two years but i did it in three months just wanted to share with you guys three things that helped grow my edges in three months i'm gonna insert pictures of what it looked like before if i show you now my edges have filled in so all of this bit used to be gone like literally my whole hairline was gone three things that helped grow my edges back coconut oil oh my god i could not stress enough coconut oil bring my edges back and I, I think this was recommended by someone in the comment section because a couple months ago I made, I did a vlog of my natural hair wash routine and I'll show you guys my routine and in that video, I kid you not, my edges were non-existent. They were ripped, nabbed, nyam, nyam, nyam out. It's not a joke and I thought that wigs would help mend the heartbreak but it only just makes it worse and in this video i'm going to tell you guys a trick if you miss out on this trick by not watching and not listening you miss out but let me tell you it helped me a lot especially if you want to wear wigs but also maintain and protect your edges as well because i know how it is to not have edges but still want to wear wigs knowing that it will still damage your hair but you still want to wear wigs you still want to look cute but your edges are damaged your edges are going you're starting to look like naked naomi campbell why is my hair line breaking every two days or every even every three days and just rub that area a lot especially this area where you see i got baby hairs now i used to literally rub coconut oil on there every two three days just rub it in just like massage it on my scalp as well but i didn't want to use too much because i didn't want to clog my scalp um pores the main cause of why my edges got so bad <sighs> I was on the brink of just like shaving my whole hair off. I was literally on the brink of completely doing the big chop. This is my <laughs> side part wig right now. And of course I love, everyone loves to wear side part wig. This is the killer. This is the edge killer. See all this lace? The tension of it rubbing constantly on your edges is damaging. And it completely, I, I noticed when I started to wear, especially side part wigs, this side of my hair was going because I'd wear it obviously this way. This side of my edges was so was worse than this side, but now obviously, you know, we're getting a little growth here and new. This side of my hair was completely disappearing because of the lace, the tension rubbing on. Silk reduces tension. Silk is a very, you know, silky material reduces tension on your hair. So I cut a bit of silk material like this. Now this I don't see no one else doing this but me. So I'm going to take all credit for it. I want to wear the side part wig. When I put it on, I'd put a bit of silk here and put the wig on top. And no one will see that there's silk under, under there. And it feels more comfortable and it's protecting my edges. You can go and buy any silk material. This is the side part area. I'd basically put this silk bit here. So it's protecting my edges. So when it lays on me, I have this silk bit to protect it. And then this bit wasn't too, is not too bad. But that's a good trick I thought I'd tell you guys as well. Also being in quarantine and being at home and not wearing wigs and letting my natural hair breathe. That also helped my edges a lot um, as well. Literally my whole hairline is has been filling in. This side still got a bit more to go. But all this bit was gone iron tablets let me tell you i'm not going to show you guys exactly what this one is because everyone's body is different so i don't want to show something that's working for me it might not work for you guys but i was anemic i lose a lot of blood on my period yeah i think that equivalents to me not having having enough iron in my body so one time i was literally on my way to school and this was years ago and i fainted because i was losing so much blood and i was so weak and i had low iron so anemia 
equates to taking iron and needing iron for your body. While I was taking iron tablets, I stopped. I took them for like more than three years and then I stopped because I became lazy and just so silly and completely ignored the fact that, listen, this could affect my hair. So I went to the GP for a checkup and they said, do you still take your iron tablets? I literally said, um, no. And they was like, you do know your hair could fall out and things like that. And I noticed my edges getting thinner and my hair was falling out more when I stopped taking my iron tablets. So I resulted taking them back. I only started literally this year, the beginning of this year. I started to take, no, it was in quarantine, literally, <laughs> literally three months. I started to take my iron tablets every day and especially for black women this is so important um we suffer from low iron levels a lot it's just, you know black women we just go through so much like if it's not this it's that and we just have to keep up our bodies because our bodies as black women are so vulnerable anyway so i started taking my iron tablets again and i feel like it that also contributed to me having uh, my hair obviously grew much more longer once I started taking my iron tablets again so iron tablets are very important but other than that I'm taking multivitamins obviously brings extra vitamins into your body that your hair also needs in quarantine I was also doing the inversion method a lot which is literally head down and massaging your scalp when I was younger my mum used to put her head in the bath like literally like down like like that and, and and wash our hair rather than you standing up in the shower and washing your hair backwards and i feel like that's really good because it gets all the blood rushing to your head so i started to do that again and i just feel like that can anyone like relate you when you feel like you're doing so much for hair growth now but when you was younger your mum was just doing the simplest things and your hair grew like back in the day we were not wearing no silk well i know i wasn't wearing no silk bonnets my mum would just do my hair and i'll just go to sleep but my hair was literally at the longest it had ever been but now like, i just feel like we're just doing so much when our parents literally didn't do anything but just use their hands and it works magic but anyway i started to do that a lot more because i want a lot of blood rushing to my scalp my edges and massaging a lot now that my edges are grown back i still actually wear my wigs but my wigs are very different to the way you girls probably wear your wigs i feel like i'm the only one that does this and it helps so basically for my frontal wigs i do not wear ear to ear i like to cut my frontal where i want the style to be so let me give you guys an example the middle part wig um it's frontal it's a frontal you know but it's i cut it so it only goes so far as it here i don't want it to be ear to ear and that's simply because frontals damage your edges and a lot of people i know frontals are sexy listen frontals are the best thing to probably happen in the hair beauty industry it looks good but it does the damage it does the damage and if, if you don't have the money to keep up like, routines and invest in your hair then you're constantly forking out your money to basically damage your edges and it's not cool like a frontal once in a while cool if not i know some people might disagree and don't want to cut their frontal the way i do but at the time i was i was receiving free hair from companies so i was getting regular frontals so i didn't mind cutting my frontals but i only cut it well when it starts to be so if i want a middle part i will cut the frontal so the only the middle part is showing i'm not really too fussed with doing a versatile hairstyle however if i was to i would only do it once in a while because once your edges go it's so hard especially when you want your edges to grow but you want to hide the fact that you ain't got no edges i just love it i just love the fact that my natural hair is out and it's just everything's just so nice my hairline's like filled in i had literally my hairline was going all the way back here and now it's like coming back here which is just perfect it's giving me like the cutest forehead coconut oil oh i also missed something out something that also helped me as well i use this as well um this is blue magic this also i want to give props to this as well because this also helped me because i was using this in quarantine as well so this the coconut oil my iron tablets and using a silk material all helped my edges grow in the space of three months the edges are still flourishing and that's why i'm so comfortable and confident in showing my natural hair recently which you guys know i never did that before i was the hair review girl i was literally weave wig weave wig weave wig weave wig, wig. But yeah that's all for this video so i thought i'd just share it with you guys in case anyone is struggling to grow their edges or is in the process of doing so i think it's a good um good tricks that i've used and it literally has brought my edges back honey and that's why i'm able to 
do hairstyles like this because I finally have some fucking magic. If you have any other recommendations, please comment them down below because it would really, really help someone. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Ciao. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.